Hey guys, what's up? So in this, vi in this video, we're going to teach you how to make a Roblox multi-instance system. Now, as you know, Roblox only allows to have one multi, in one instance, but this is also a thing called, um, this is a thing called Mutex. Now, Mutex is thing, uh, um, technically, is called a multi mutual exclusion object so like for program threads that can use more resources than one so technically in computer science multi um mostly in c++ it's used as a mutex function so technically that it uses uh, it creates more instances for roblox for us mutex can have more things so you can use std mutex for c++ and other stuff so uh Mostly, yeah, like just like that. That's how it works. So, um, yeah, that's all you need to a little bit to know about Mutex. Now, Mutex technically like brings for like returns like a like a unique name or ID, and technically, and like Mutex uses new threads and IDs and stuff like that. Shit like that, guys. We don't need to know about that. So it's not that hard. You're gonna have to have Visual Studio C Sharp open. All you're gonna have to have your app open and type in the word M U T E X. And when you type this, you're gonna see about 40 strings. Well, if you go here, we're gonna actually have to go here. This is not a string. You, um, we're gonna see this, and since it has no, uh, no thing here, that's not the one. This is this. This is actually a function in C. So we're gonna skip this. Skip this. Skip this. Skip. 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 Not a thing. Not a thing. Skip. 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 Actually, it could be this one, but that this no underscore. Skip. 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 So it could be, no, that's a number. Now it could be this one, this one. We can try in Roblox Singleton Mutex. And if we go here, it actually pushes us into this. And this is the calling string. And if we go here, it calls this. See, it is preventing multi, uh, uh, multi instances. So it only wants us to create one instance. So as you can see right here, this is the code right here. Uh, looks like some error happened here. I don't know. Maybe it's the memory. I don't even know. So it looks like it uses void. There's four arguments. So uh, I guess we're going to skip that. Uh, we're going to be instantly going to here. And this is the thing. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go here. We're going to copy it. And we're going to go into notepad. Uh, uh, if you have notepad, then you can do, do it. And it's being called uh, new new okay we're gonna do an string item equals and then this roblox singleton mute uh mutex new mutex true go uh, go on equals true so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a new mutex on and then we're doing item now if you turn it uh we can do it to on for on true true to turn on and uh, when doing false to off, turn off. So that's how you make it, guys. Not that hard. That's how you make a Roblox singleton event. And this is the pseudo code for anyone who wants it. Just let me know. I'll, I'll post in the uh, comment box, whatever thingy. No, I'll post it right here. Okay. So it looks like it uses about this much code. So I'm just going to go right here, guys. So make sure to subscribe and peace out.